Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. We are going to be heading downstairs. There's actually a cafe in the bottom of this building that we're staying in. Yeah. We're gonna go grab some coffee, grab some breakfast. So good. I can't wait. But you guys, overnight, look what happened. It snowed. Whoa. So I think we might actually be the only people with snow still around. We woke up to a decent amount of snow, but now some of it's kind of melted or most of it's melted, but we still got a bunch on our balcony. Yeah. And I think it should snow a little bit more later. I'm hoping so because we're going to be going to a Christmas market later. That's the main reason, or one of the main reasons we came to Austria, of course, to eat the food, but yeah. mainly to, to check out the Christmas market because we've heard they're amazing. Yeah, I cannot wait. I don't know if it'll keep snowing sadly. It was in the forecast all day yesterday and then this morning it was all gone, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Maybe it'll come back. But first, got to get some coffee in our bellies. start with, we just got some coffee. I got a cappuccino. I think the coffee here is gonna be very good. I got their cold brew, even though I know it's snowing outside. Look how adorable this little yeah, bottle if is. If there's cold brew, she's gonna go for it. Snowing, yeah. doesn't matter. It says your daily dose of can't stop me now, which is exactly what I need. I just tasted it. It tastes like roasted caramel dark chocolate coffee. This is just so magical and delicious. Look who decided to join us. So good and Our breakfast has arrived. We got the uh, shakshuka. It's farm eggs sunny side up in a spicy tomato bell pepper mushroom sauce. And I think this is uh, some feta cheese and then there should be mint yogurt and it comes with a little uh, sourdough bread on the side. It looks amazing. I've never had it. I got this because Allison said this is her favorite breakfast. Oh, I think Don't you're gonna Don't forget like about it. me guys though. I've got something different. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they trying to forget about me? What is this? The meze? The meze um, thing. Emma will tell you what it is. What I is actually it? don't know what it tell is. Tell them. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> Eggs and eggplant. aubergine. Oh yeah, eggplant, sorry, for the American viewers. I actually have no idea what this is. So is it a curry hummus? Helpful. Oh, hummus, I maybe it's so. hummus. Hummus, okay. And then what's hummus this? And... Ooh, that's TBD. <laughs> By your nice. mouth. Well, it looks good. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm hoping it's not going to be too, too hot. Yep. You got to get feta, you got to get the chorizo, the egg in there. I don't know, it's smoking quite a bit. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> pretty hot. It's pretty hot. <laughs> All right, this is one hour later. Just kidding, it's just a minute later. Oh, baby. <laughs> that is so yummy. Ooh, that chorizo is really nice and smoky and spicy. And then it almost tastes like it's a pizza stew sauce or something like that. Maybe. A lot of tomato, there's peppers. The flavor is just so good. Made it to the theme park and it's so much fun! Oh my Whoa, god! It's going crazy! It's bumping! Nope, nobody else is here. <laughs> I think that it's so cold that they closed down for the day. Oops. So, this theme park, I think it's Wurst, Wurster Prater, but they refer to it as just Prater, is in this park by the same name. And normally it looks like they would have all kinds of stuff. They have these adrenaline cards, which uh, we got so that we could go on some rides, but. I don't really think we're going to be doing today. that today. But they have legit roller coasters and all kinds of cool stuff here. But there is a, a Ferris wheel that the city's kind of known for that's just right over there that I, I it looks like it's running, so we're at least going to do that. Yeah. This is kind of feeling like an abandoned theme park. <laughs> it's kind of cool because there's not a soul around and they have all these really creepy statues all over the place. They, yeah. they look really lifelike from far away. <laughs> <laughs> They're really bright and fun and then you get up and you realize, I think people might be being attacked. I'm not really sure what's happening. <laughs> I really committed to the bit because I really like pushed it in. I've got like You're bit, welcome. Got bits of Scabby finger yeah. on my nose. Oh, You're welcome, next little kid who comes and uh, plays on this guy. All right, we have acquired tickets. Now we're gonna go take a ride on the Wiener Wheel. <laughs> no, the Wiener Rise Rod. Yeah. Okay. 
that moved. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> We are currently on the Wiener Reisenrad Ferris wheel. It's very famous in Vienna. It's, I guess over time it's become kind of a symbol for the city. It is uh, 64.75 meters tall. That's about 212 feet. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Vienna and it was constructed originally in 1897, but there was a fire that happened that burned the whole thing down, then they reconstructed it. And from 1920 to 1985, it was actually the world's tallest Ferris wheel, which is pretty cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Did you guys have fun? So Woo! much fun. You don't, it was adrenaline, I can't guys. I even explain how much fun that was. It was exciting. We were saying it would have been a lot more fun if they had given us some old wine or something. Yes. That would have made but it. But we're about to rectify that. Yes, they actually have a little bit of a Christmas market here at the theme park where we actually found civilization. But this is not the one we're going to tonight. Oh, we're going bigger and better, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Come to the Altwiener Christ Christen. Oh, I messed it up. We have come to the Altwiener Chris Kindle Market. Uh, it's nice pretty. Job pronouncing yeah, it. <laughs> I'm trying. It's pretty close, actually. Cafe Central is just right around the block where we tried to come yesterday. If you didn't catch that vlog, we did a delicious food tour. It didn't quite go as planned, but we made it, it work. A lot of fun, it was so. a lot of fun. But so we came back down here because there are a bunch of Chris Christmas markets all over Vienna. I saw that this one was supposed to be pretty nice. Not a lot of tourists, not too crowded, and then a lot of beautiful shops, which there definitely are. You can get all sorts of Christmas knickknacks, some ornaments, you can get handmade goodies, a lot of chocolates. There's a lot of uh, little sausage and wine shops, so you can get dinner, a drink, and just wander around and get some local homemade Christmas presents for people if you'd like. It's a beautiful night though, it's not snowing. I feel like it maybe even warmed up a bit or maybe I'm just excited to be here. And we had a little bit of uh, wine earlier and that helped a bit too, but <laughs> Speaking it's lovely. Of, we're probably gonna find another thing to drink and taste. Yes, exactly. We just found this stall where they're doing some kind of glass work or something. They're making these super thin glass bulbs and they almost look like bubbles. It's really cool. It is so freaking cold out here. I can't feel my toes. So we decided to get a warm beverage. This is, uh, we just kind of got something random that we uh, hadn't had before. It's Apple Beer and Punch. And I'm guessing it's just Apple Punch. And she said up there that there's brandy in it. You can see there's little chunks kind of floating around in there. And it's something like that. And it's, wow, there's a lot going on in here. I have no, absolutely no idea what to expect. It smells great. It just smells kind of a little bit apple -y and just like a nice fruit punch. Ooh, it's really nice. It's very sweet. I don't get a strong alcohol flavor, although I asked for extra brandy in it. Did she actually put the extra brandy? I hope so. It's not super alco alcohol -y, which could be good or could be bad because it might just be masking it all and after a few of these you get real drunk. But it's nice with all the pulp in there. It makes it seem really fresh, but Oh yeah, you gotta chew it. <laughs> this is really delicious. I don't usually like like apple cider or anything like that, but it's definitely not that. It almost tastes like strawberry apple punch. I wonder if that's what some of the fruit is in here, or raspberries maybe? Nice and fruity, but also a little like clove or cinnamony. So it's got all of the elements you want in a Christmas beverage. We just got a Kartoffelpuffer. Puffer. Kartoffelpuffer. Kartoffelpuffer, right? Potato pancake. Potato, Potato pancake. pancake. Yeah, that's a bit easier. <laughs> we read that these are really popular at Christmas markets, and this one has garlic and salt on it. It smells so garlicky and amazing, and it's so cold out here, and this is so warm. Can I eat it? Yeah, go for it. 
It was good. Uh -huh. It was very good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, that's nice and warm and toasty and thick. It's like a really nice hash brown. My turn. It's good, right? Oh, it's I good. I think I saw that you can get these with applesauce too, which could be very interesting. Yeah, he put a, he slathered some garlic on there, mm -hmm. put a little salt on mm -hmm. there. It's really nice. It's really dense potato pancake, basically. Super simple, but very flavorful. The garlic was a good idea. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's a nice touch. Oh. Very satisfying. So far, I'm loving Vienna Christmas markets. Y'all, at the bottom of this, there are like a billion little berries in here. I've been eating them. Oh my God, it's so good. There must be like cranberries and raspberries and blueberries. Ooh, it's so yummy. And also, you get your drink in these cool glasses, but then you can return them for three euros. Thank you. Thank you. Look, we got like six euro back. Ooh. Dang. Mold wine what are you everyone. gonna buy me? Mold wine? All right. Or sorry, ghoul, ghoul, blue, blue wine. Blue vine. Blue vine. So our real mission at these markets was to find sausages. The last one had a couple, but not quite what we were looking for. So we actually passed another market on the way to the last one. Now we're back here. The smell of sausage is in the air. There's a bunch hanging in the stand over here. So I think we're gonna luck out and get something very delicious. Mission accomplished. This is a lovely and beautiful Casa Kreiner. Casa Kreiner. Casa Kreiner. <laughs> Dang, it's, it's like a, a cheese, cheese sausage. sausage. <laughs> so it's this beautiful, huge sausage filled with cheese that they chop up. They put some mustard on the side and they throw it on top of a slice of dark bread. Oh my goodness. Dude, look how it's served. Oh, it's it so smells and looks simple delicious. And beautiful. This is what the other one was missing. They didn't have any fresh grills. They had sausages, but they were all like just in a warmer. This. Hot off the press, as you can see, it's all nice and crispy and grilled on there. Oh, yeah. oh lordy. Once I saw that a cheese sausage existed, that was my goal in Vienna. I couldn't leave until I got it. And we got it! All right, she put it in the biggest piece, of course, the little fork guy, so let's see. Oh, it's so Jesus. hot! <laughs> oh, it's hot! Wow, that thing exploded. <laughs> Let me just There's cheese everywhere! Wow. This is my <laughs> I dodged a bullet not trying that first. Look, you got it in your hair! <laughs> oh no! Well, they don't call it a cheese sausage for nothing. <laughs> you guys, this is amazing. <laughs> the <laughs> sausage, I love sausage when the casing's like really tight and it just pops open in your mouth. Not when it explodes. I'll well, your, yeah, not when it explodes hair. into your hair. And then with the cheese in there, it almost tastes like a really good like almost like a smoky cheddar or something like that. The um, mustard, I actually didn't taste. The sausage and the cheese was pretty overpowering, but I'm fine with that, so it's not too spicy. And it's just perfectly grilled, it's super warm, it pops in your mouth, oh, it's perfection. You guys, I just tried the sausage, <laughs> and it's so friggin' tasty. I, we were trying to take a picture for the thumbnail, so mine, it's still warm, but it's not quite as hot as I'd like. That's the only problem, but that just kinda happens when we're trying to film stuff, but it has got this creamy texture to it and the pop of the outside and the, and the tanginess of the mustard is absolutely perfect. So delicious. Did you just eat a dollop of mustard? Oh yeah. <laughs> so this ended up being a pretty chill day, but I had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Got to try some delicious food. We were really had our fingers crossed we were gonna find that cheese sausage to try, so we're super happy I'm about so that. So glad it worked out. But uh, that is gonna conclude our travels here in Austria. Yeah. We were hoping to get out and see the city more, but it just turned so cold, and we have it some more gear we have to get. Of the and days it, yeah, here, huh? it's been so the weather's just been so bad. It's been easier just to kind of stay in our area and yeah. not do that much. But anyways, we're gonna be doing more traveling with the uh, travel beans. We're gonna meet up with them again in Slovenia. They'll be taking a train tomorrow. We're taking a bus, yeah. I think to Maribor in the kind of eastern, northeastern side. Yeah, like northeast side. Slovenia. Yep, and then we'll be renting a car, I believe, and making our way down to Ljubljana and the western side. It should be awesome. We should be able to see quite a bit, I hope. Yeah, so stay tuned for all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a new country for us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It'll be fun, but for now, our toes are frozen yes, off. And we gotta so go cold. find the train, so good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. 